Well guys, we're here at the convention center at Lacan, and we're gonna check out all the Jeeps here at the 2020 Jeep Invasion. You ready, Dawn? Yes, let's do it. Let's do this. Well, today our adventure begins here at the new parking lot here for the LeConte Center. Every year at the end of August, 5,000 plus Jeeps come here to well, Pigeon Forge for the annual Jeep Invasion. Good morning, Mount LeConte. I head into the LeConte Center, but the line to get in stretches all the way out here on the drive. why the lines are so long is because they're only allowing so many people inside the convention center so you actually got to wait for people to leave and then you get to go in so yeah that's the reason we were wondering the reason why there's long lines because we've never waited for a long line here at the invasion but so times have definitely changed here also it's twelve dollars a person um, and then there's an extra charge for credit cards so i think it's like 15 if you have a credit card and 12 if you pay cash so there is a savings definitely bring cash with you so the first thing you'll notice is that it's very social distance here they're only allowing so many people on the convention center floor due to well what we call the mr mcnasty's so today we're going to go around we're going to check out all the uh really cool jeeps see what kind of merchandise and um we're gonna have a good time we're also gonna go outside check out the jeeps out there Even Chris about t-shirts would approve of waiting in line for a, a t-shirt. Well, at least he's practiced being safe. But your mask is not over your nose. You gotta cover that nose. Check out this Jeep here. You got your tent in the back. You got extra gas. Uh, lots of room to put everything you need. You also got your bike and your kayak. This thing is ready to roll when it comes to outdoor, well, fun. <laughs> hey, Don, is that something you want to do? Yeah, looks fun. These little ducks are a thing. Somebody drove up on us and threw one of these ducks at us and said, have a ducky day or you've been ducked. Uh, well, Jeeps are also known for throwing koozies at you, but I'm guessing these, these little rubber ducks are the, the new thing. So they seem to write things on these ducks. Like cool Jeep or big Jeep or. Yeah. 
yet another one of those those ducks that is definitely something new This Jeep has got a tent for the whole family. All these Jeeps come in, well, different sizes, different shapes, different colors. They're all, well, unique to each one of their owners. And some of them don't even look like Jeeps anymore. But most of them do have that iconic Jeep front grille that everybody loves. That front grille has actually changed a little bit over the years, but pretty much has that iconic, or always has that iconic Jeep look. Check out this Jeep camper tent. You got a little room down here, maybe for the potty. Of course, up here you have the tent. That is cool. And this is in the back of one of those, well, Jeep Gladiators. These are super hot now. A lot of folks are uh, getting into these half pickup, half Jeep. This one here is a four-door. Definitely a lot of custom work has gone into this one. I really like these gladiators. They start at $60,000. <laughs> you find anything good for your Jeep? I see all kinds of stuff. Yeah, I noticed you've been looking at those tents that you can pull behind. She really wants to start doing, well, some camping and some campground reviews. What do you think about that? Sounds good. You're going to have to get one of those. This is a very good cause, actually, raise awareness and money for, well, breast cancer. Very, very popular booth here. Check out these custom hoods. <laughs> Only $1,300. Check out this AMC Eagle. Wow. It's got a little bit of off-roading going on with her and uh, she's really I haven't seen one of these in probably 20 25 years <laughs> it's totally yep and it's got the same interior I remember that plaid <laughs> going on in here this is really bringing back the memories of course these things were like little beasts they were like four-wheel drive and everything else it's got those, I call them belt buckle handles. Yeah, definitely screaming 1970s here. And uh, they're real cool. You can actually put that back seat down, do a little camping. Now we're done with the inside. Now we're going to head outside and check it out. Yeah. And we found out about those little rubber ducks. That's something new. Uh, and you, they give them out to the Jeeps. 
that are like the biggest, the best, you know, the best of the show. And that's called Duck 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 Jeep. Ducky, duck Jeep. Duck Duck Jeep dot com. So it is something new. And we got a duck the other day, so I guess Dawn's little factory Jeep. Well, at least inspired somebody to give her a little duck, right? That was nice of them. That's cool. <laughs> so we're gonna head outside and check out what's going out there. So here's a line going into the outside proportion, and across the way is the folks heading into, well, the convention center. That's that is like an hour and a half long wait. Well, we finally made it in after an hour wait. <laughs> That's ridiculous because there's no social distancing in line, but they're social distancing this. So I don't know. Didn't make sense to me. But we're here now, and we're gonna take a look around, see what's going on, and maybe get something to drink because it's it's hot now. They got a little outdoor show going on where folks can show off their their rides. Even the little kitties can show off their uh, Jeep rides. What do you think about he like that? Could you ride around in that? Well, this guy here is called Rockzilla. It's a rock crawler. <laughs> Look at that. Check that out. And uh, of course, you got here. Five point heart racing seats in there and gone. Can we do that to the Jeep? Check out this teardrop. This would be kind of fun to pull behind the Jeep. And just enough room there to get a good night's sleep. Of course, the bed here actually folds out. It's a bamboo bed. And you got some, looks like air conditioning and some creature comforts. So Dawn, what do you think about this ideal here? It's cute. Yeah, could you see yourself sleeping in that? Uh, yeah. Uh -huh. His names and let the cameras take the pictures. There's one line, Matt Kemper. This is gonna be the future of old Dawn Jeep. You're gonna do that to your Jeep? In the future I will. Even the Jeeps themselves like to, well, climb on each other. Bambi? What happened? Bleeping Jeep with the poop emoji. Well, these little rubber ducks are getting crazier and crazier as we go along. A tree hugger. <laughs> what, what's the tree doing? Is it? Is it? <laughs> these guys buy cars to crush with their Jeeps. This is for all you Star Wars geeks out there. You got Darth Maul and Darth Vader in the middle of a Jeep symbol. Luke, come to the dark side of Jeeps. You, what are you laughing? Yeah, because it is the dark side. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, come to the dark side, Luke. We saw this one last year. This one's called White Tiger. Check out the, uh, the flashing lights up front. It's got a little pedal car down here, replica. And uh, definitely an LSU fan. This is for all those LSU fans. But definitely themed with the White Tiger and a beautiful purple, purple stripes. Back here, it's pulling an old Coca-Cola cooler. Well, this one here is a Hyper Dragon. <laughs> well, it took in a lot of those ducks. A lot of folks must enjoy this green, well, beast. Definitely awesome graphics. Uh, it's a four-door. Got really cool, cool rims on it. Of course, you know, Jeeps, not really good on the gas. Are the Jeeps really good on gas, Dawn? No. No, definitely not. Let's <laughs> hold your jugs and watch this. <laughs> hold your jugs and watch this? Yeah. Yeah. Well, I think this one here wants to be a Jeep. You can tell these Jeeps got a lot of intricate work. Look at the shock system and just the detail. 
going into it. This monkey says, look under. <laughs> so this one here is all decked out. Look at the, uh, the light bars and there's even a, well, another gorilla in there. Of course, that, mo that engine's a gorilla in itself, but uh, definitely mean looking and uh, definitely a lot of fun for the owners who own this uh, crazy Rubicon. But uh, take, take a look at those tires. They got these mirrors on the ground. You can see it's all done up very nicely underneath. Got matching interior and this little guy here holding some more of those ducks. Well, check out the bumpers in this <laughs> Jeep. There's enough to wake up the, the whole neighborhood there. Look at that. Hey, that's the guy that lives down the street from us, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, you could definitely shatter some glass with this this big bad boy here. Wow. Uh, yeah. I definitely, I bet you'll blow your hair or your hat off your head. <laughs> My head don't have a chance. Yeah. Yeah. Check out the back of this Jeep. Look at all them speakers in there. What do you think about this one? A lot of speakers. It's going to be really loud. <laughs> yeah. That definitely blows someone's eardrum totally out. Check out this pink breast awareness Jeep here. And big old pink rims. And that is really cool. Uh, redneck Ram. Uh, Mango Tango. Uh oh. Someone's playing them that rap music again, guys. But uh, check that. <laughs> That's really cool. Yeah. Well, this Jeep is definitely on an angle in there. <laughs> Mango Tango Mama. Dawn, that's some serious back seats. Yeah. That's a. I think Chris and Mindy should get back here and go for a ride on that one. Are you cold? It's like 95 degrees out here. <laughs> Dawn, I think this guy is, is cold. I wish you could share some of the cold air with him. Yeah. I don't know. You got some problems. <laughs> We're here with one of our friends or subscribers, and he's the assistant manager. At Modern Tire and Wheel. At Modern Tire and Wheel. And guys, if you guys need some wheels or whatever for your Jeep, get a hold of you, right? Yes, we'll put a link yes. in the description below. Yes. We'll put the information for you in the in the in the and the link's in the bottom of this video. Yes, yeah, so you guys are looking for those tires or custom rims for your Jeep. Definitely get a hold of Jason here. There's his information. He's a good friend of the channel. And of course, he'll get you some really cool, well, rims for your, your Jeep. Really just set it off. Here is our friend Jason's rig. Check that out. He's got a, a Bigfoot themed <laughs> rig. And it also looked like he got ducked, too. I guess that's the official term. He's got like a mermaid duck. That's an honor, though. Big country. That's a, that's a pretty cool Jeep, isn't it? Did you steal Jason's duck? Jeeps as far as the eye can see. They're, they backed up the well, Teaster and the Parkway. I would say that the Jeep Invasion was a, a success this year. They've managed to, well, plug Teaster once again. And it uh, keeps getting bigger and bigger every year. Well, guys, that's going to do it for the 2020 Jeep, Jeep invasion. invasion. Yes, another Jeep Invasion. This is like our sixth or seventh year at the Jeep Invasion. But, guys, if you guys like this vlog, give it a thumbs, thumbs up. up. 
Also, please subscribe so you don't miss these upcoming, well, Smoky Mountain adventures. We have food reviews, hotel reviews. We do Dollywood, Jeep invasions, rod runs, anything you can imagine right here in the Great Smoky Mountains. And until next time. Thanks for watching. Bye, everyone. Bye, everybody.